And looking ahead, good evening to you at what could come this week. Congressional leaders say basically two options, really three. President Trump could resign. Vice President Mike Pence, who's currently a bit at odds with President Trump, could invoke the 25th Amendment, forcing him from office. Failing that, impeachment proceedings, as you very well laid out, could begin tomorrow. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi releasing a draft resolution calling on Vice President Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment, removing the president from office, telling her fellow Democrats, in protecting our Constitution and our democracy, we will act with urgency because this president represents an imminent threat to both. I think there was a, a universally accepted that what happened was a terrible, terrible violation of, what, of the Capitol, of the, the first branch of government, the, the legislative branch by the President of the United States. A second Republican now calling on the President to resign. I think at this point, with just a few days left, it's um, the best path forward, the best way to get this person in the rearview mirror. Alaska's Lisa Murkowski telling the Anchorage Daily News, I want him out. He has caused enough damage. Every minute and every hour that he is in office represents a clear and present danger, not just to uh, the United States Congress, but frankly to the country. Illinois Republican Adam Kinzinger does not favor impeachment, but... I think the best thing would, for the country to heal would be for him to resign. The next best thing is the 25th Amendment. And tonight, as security is locked down ever tighter on Capitol Hill, the questions persist. Despite all the open source intelligence, social media posts indicating exactly what was being planned, how was Washington so unprepared for this? Law enforcement did an excellent job considering they didn't like this match. Someone else did. Now, some in the Capitol are questioning whether this is the end or the beginning, as false allegations of election fraud continue to circulate within the Republican Party. This letter from the GOP chairman in Nye County, Nevada, more than suggesting further attempts at insurrection. Let me be clear, it says, Trump will be president for another four years. Biden will not be president. Yes, I know these are shocking words in these crazy days. The FBI continuing to make arrests and seek information on suspects affiliated with groups like the Proud Boys and QAnon. The 25th Amendment, never before used to remove a president against his will, still on the table, although a less likely path than impeachment for an unprecedented second time with a vote to render Donald Trump unable to seek office again. We tell the people all the time that your vote is your voice. Well, our vote is our voice, and we must voice disapproval of what the president did. Again, many Republicans saying this process could further divide an already divided country, but things are moving fast here. President Donald Trump could be charged with high crimes and misdemeanors by Wednesday. He'd have just a week left in office. Live in Washington, Tom Negevin, News Nation.